Face here back with another reaction video. This time, we're at to 10 perverts who change the world for the better from top 10s. Now, I'm not sure what to expect, except in the thumbnail, you got Gandhi in the thumbnail, so um, so I'm not pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm, I'm just, I don't know, the, the title just really threw me off, so um. So the link to the original video will be in the description down below. Please go subscribe to Top Tens, and um, let's not waste some more time. Let me get that up on screen and let's get into this. And hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Top Tens Net, and in the video today, we're looking at the top ten perverts who've changed the world wow. for the better. The history of our world is full of men who are larger than life, heroes who have become legends over time and now hold a place as something more than just people. They yeah. have become symbols of great aspiration or traits that we all wish we could embody. Mm. However, sometimes it is also important to remember that these men were also just men and that yeah. men are not perfect and all have their own no one, no one is perfect. In the video today, we've got the strange perverted oddities of 10 of the most influential men in history. So, oh. this is going to be an interesting one. Number 10, Albert Einstein. I've, oh, Albert I've heard Einstein he was a bit of a lady man. literally but... the most common name when it comes to modern scientific genius. If you want to insult someone, you call them Hitler, and if you want to suggest someone is a genius, even if sarcastically, you yeah. invoke the name of Einstein. His theory of relativity and his infinite quotability, although many popular quotes are actually apocryphal or out square. of context, has made him a symbol of intelligence worldwide. However, while many may respect him for his smarts, he was still a man and no yeah. one perfect. For Einstein, his weakness was his sexual proclivities and his inability to be faithful or enjoy a normal oh, relationship wow. with another human being. In 1903, Einstein married a woman named Meliva and he had children with her. But after several years of marriage, he decided he was truly tired of being faithful and went to find a woman to have an affair with. Wow. What was particularly strange was his choice, because this was his cousin, Elsa Einstein, who was divorced okay. and already had two children from a previous marriage. As if this was not odd enough, even once his wife found out, he continued his affair and even wrote about how much his wife bothered him, referring to her Jeez. as an employee he cannot fire. Wow. While most people think of him as having a fairly clean persona, he was not a very nice man or a faithful lover and his wow. obsession with his cousin, well, that was just a little bit weird. Hmm. Number nine, George H. W. Bush. George H. W. Okay. Bush, the former president of the United States, not to be confused with his son and former president George W. Bush, or his other son, failed presidential candidate and former governor Jeb Bush, is really starting to show his advanced years. It seems not long ago that his speaking career still had legs, but over time he atrophied, and now he is confined to a wheelchair. His public appearances okay. have dropped off greatly as his health has declined, but he still shows up for various events at times and tries to make light of the situation in his own unique way. Unfortunately for both H.W. and the women who meet up with him, his way of making light of situations oh apparently God. involves grabbing women's butts while taking pictures with them, mm. even going so far as to joke that his name is David Copperfield. During the Me Too oh, movement, many women have now come forward complaining about the former president's behavior, one of them even as young as 16. The former Ooh. president's response was basically to apologize through his spokesman and say that he had meant it all as an innocent joke. Number 8. James Joyce James Joyce is a literary giant who is mostly known as a know who that is. but also he's one of those authors who is so famous that while you may have only read one or two things by him because you have to in school, you still know full well that he wrote a whole lot more. As a classic author, from a time period most people today consider rather prudish, many mm. might be surprised to know just how dirty of a mind James Joyce actually had. A series of romantic letters between himself and his soon-to-be wife have ended up preserved for mm. posterity. Her part was long since lost, perhaps out of a respect for the fact that she herself was not the celebrity. Regardless, just wow. his side of the letters alone is quite suggestive of how they had fun. It turns out that James Joyce had quite an obsession with farts in many of the exchanges. He comments on wow. how much he loves it when she farts and how he <laughs> wishes that she would fart in his face so that he could fully appreciate the smell. In more than oh, one this letter, is he talks about so how weird. he manages to make her fart while having sex well, people and do how have she finds this attractive. While it is a harmless fetish, and not nearly as bizarre as some, it is still not what someone would expect from a dignified-looking man who wrote classic literature. 
Number seven, Alfred Kinsey. Don't know who that Alfred is. Alfred Kinsey's research on sexual behavior among males and females conducted back in the mid-1900s was groundbreaking. For a moment there, I, I had to look again, but I swear that looked like Mark Hamill for a second. And gave us a backbone of knowledge on the subject that is still in use to this very day. For that reason, many at the time considered him to be doing things that were entirely immoral because oh, they wow. felt his research normalized certain sexual behaviors that they oh, found abhorrent. Because he spent weirder. so much time researching and writing about such a mm. controversial topic, he has been hit with at least partial blame by one group or another for almost everything sexual that somebody doesn't like. Among other okay. things, he's been credited with Rowan Wade, increased sex education, normalization of homosexuality sexuality, more use and acceptance of porn, and looser laws against sex offenders. And of course, depending on who you ask, not wow. all of that is a bad thing. Of course, Kinsey himself was a true pervert, but this doesn't detract <laughs> from the very real research that he did or invalidate the results that he attained. In fact, it should be no surprise that a man who spent his life researching sex had some interesting proclivities himself. Alfred mm -hmm. Kinsey was alleged to have had affairs secretly with men, filmed odd sex scenes in his own home, and was okay. a fan of, among other things, urethral stimulation. Mm. There are also claims that he encouraged his staff to talk to their partners about having open marriages, although it was unclear. Wow. if he expected himself to be included, or if he just wanted them to be freer with their sexuality. Number six, Mahatma Gandhi. Gandhi okay. is one of those figures who has practically been elevated to sainthood. Unfortunately, he doesn't necessarily deserve all of that praise, though. While his peaceful words mm. are great things to live by, and he did do a lot of good, many of his actions and his personal demons may have made him a pariah if the kind of information sharing we have now existed back when he was acting in order to bring about changes in India. Wow. One of the things Gandhi preached, apart from non-violence and poverty, was sexual chastity. He mm. even claimed that holding in your sexual fluids made you stronger and more vital over time. However, he also believes okay. that these claims of chastity should be regularly put to the test, something many scholars believe was simply a veiled way for him to continue to find a way to satisfy himself while still feeling spiritual. Mm. See, Gandhi liked to sleep among young naked women, oftentimes in a state okay. of nakedness or mostly nakedness himself. He did not have sex with them, but in some of his writings there is talk of involuntary discharges and there is plenty of touching going on as it is described that oh, they are sleeping wow. side by side. This makes it rather hard to believe there was nothing sexual going on and that he was truly This side of Gandhi I never even knew about trying to remain chaste. Some people feel that he may have been using his religious position of trust in order to mm. satisfy himself while appearing chaste. However, wow. what was going through his head will, of course, always be impossible to truly know. Number five, Amadeus Mozart. Amadeus Mozart oh, is arguably Mozart. one of the two most famous Mozart composers in European no history and has around. influenced countless musical artists over the centuries. His music has been a regular staple in prim and proper concert halls for generations and people love to play his music to show how classy they are or just to feel classy for a time. However, for those of you who have seen the movie Amadeus and have watched mm -hmm. the rest of this video, then you might imagine where this is going. In the movie Amadeus, a historical fiction, mm -hmm. we see a Mozart that can be kind of bored a little wild and sometimes rather uncouth. Yeah. While much of the movie is apocryphal or at least wildly inaccurate, yeah. the portrayal of Mozart may be more accurate than you might imagine. You see, Germany has always seemed to have a strange thing about poop compared to other countries, and it goes all the way back to the time of Mozart. There mm. are correspondence saved where he wrote to his mother while growing up, wishing her good night while writing her sweet poems about pooping in the bed. He also wrote naughty oh. letters to his cousin, which also included poop, and even wrote songs about it as well. One of them had lyrics that essentially translated to lick my ass. It is important to note though here that there is little what? to any indication that there was anything incestuous here. While he may have had some kind of fetish, he also just seemed to find it terribly amusing. If mm. nothing else, he was a very perverted jokester. Number four, Benjamin Franklin. Oh Benjamin yes, Franklin is this famous is... For inventing so many things I definitely he heard about this. credited with discovering things that he did not discover. He was a founding father, a possible high-ranking Freemason, an influential diplomat who helped bring the French to the United States' side during the Revolutionary War, and oh, yeah, he was chasing an women over writer, France. and one of the most devious, cunning, sociopathic men mm. to ever walk the earth. Oh, and also he was a pervert with some rather bizarre beliefs. 
When he had recently got up in the morning, he liked to take his clothes off and sit with the window open for a good 30 minutes or so. Wow. He believed that doing this was for good health, but some today might just call it exhibitionism, but he referred to it as an air bath. However, <laughs> even worse was how he felt about dating. He once wrote to a man explaining all the reasons he should look to an older woman as a mistress. He explains, among other things, that they will not produce children, are more grateful, more discreet, wow. and that if you look from the neck down, you wouldn't notice much difference. It's <laughs> unlikely Jeez. that anyone today would consider That's him a bit much harsh. of a role model, not anyone who wants anyone to respect them, at any rate. Number three, Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud is someone most people would probably expect to be in this video, as he is not only known to many as the father of psychoanalysis, but more recently he's become known as that guy with all the crazy theories about sex. Mm. Freud's theorizing has not only caused him to be somewhat of a laughingstock in recent years, but he has never really been respected very much because of his wild views. Even though his work in psychoanalysis was groundbreaking, most of his research is simply not applicable today, and at the time he went through periods where he was even less respected. At one point in his career, he was hanging his hat on something called seduction theory, where he believed that much of his patients' problems had to do with traumatic sexual experiences when they were incredibly tiny children. In later years, he realized that he was likely wrong, and that his patients had suggested these memories into being with his help. But we now know that memories from an age that young would simply not form properly in a way that they could be repressed and remembered later. Memory simply doesn't work that way. However, this, along with the many crazy theories that he had about children and sex, were not his um, only odd obsessions. One of his beliefs was that you needed to understand any sexual passion involved between a psychoanalyst and patient, and he would have them discuss things such as masturbation fantasies or dreams. Most of his patients were young women, and at one point he had a session with his own lesbian daughter, who he was trying to cure. Number two, mm. Leo Tolstoy. Leo Tolstoy is most known for writing War and Peace and a bunch of other books that most people have not heard of. Still, his name is synonymous with Russian literature, and most people simply think of him as a dignified classical writer. Mm. However, the truth is that while Tolstoy may have been a genius writer with incredible talent, he was also a vain, selfish, and hypocritical man who was absolutely sex-crazed. Indeed, he mentally tortured himself over it his entire wow. life. As a young man, he was with prostitutes a lot, but eventually got over that and got married. Still, even with 13 children, he was not a happy man. He became very religious and ultimately started his own brand of Christianity. He preached abstinence and the giving away of worldly goods while practicing neither of these things. However, the story that truly showed the world who he was so and caused the greatest controversy was a short story called The Kritzer Sonata. In this short story, a man marries a beautiful young woman and they have several children together. For all intents and purposes, it is a perfect marriage. Unfortunately, the man starts to become bored with married life and fantasizes that a friend of theirs who comes over to play the piano, usually playing a piece called The Kritzer Sonata, is in love with his wife and she is in love with him. The man goes mad and then murders them both and then has wow. a long monologue on a train with a stranger about how sex is evil and women cause men's hearts to be filled with lust. This may sound quite familiar to what is heard from some very religious people even today, that women are responsible for men's oh, thoughts, yeah. at least in part, and need to cover up their bodies to not cause undue temptation. Of course, many argue that the people preaching this are usually men and have some issues with self-control. Number one, Lyndon B. Johnson. Lyndon Baines Johnson is mostly wow. known for his so-called war on poverty and also for being a popular target for conspiracy theorists who believe that he may have been in on or directly behind the death of JFK. After all, the vice wow. president would have more to gain than anyone else and have more power than anyone to cover up an investigation. However, while most people tend to center on those two topics or perhaps his decisions during Vietnam, very little discussion these days tends to go into just how perverted and abusive President Johnson really was. While President Trump may have made some very bad comments in the Access Hollywood tape, the behavior Johnson got away with involving his Johnson would be a horrific scandal today, especially in light of recent movements yeah. to speak out against sexual harassment. This was a man who would openly pee in the parking lot, whip his business around to colleagues in the bathroom and ask them if they'd ever seen anything as big, and make his aides stand at the door of the bathroom and take notes while he was emptying himself, among other things. He also wow. liked to refer to his member as Jumbo, and without <laughs> any proper decorum, loved to find excuses to bring it up or show it off in order to assert his superiority as an alpha male. He was also incredibly physically aggressive with Whoops. anyone. I Oh, is that the former U.S. president where um, I saw a random fact? I I can't remember if it was Lyndon B. Johnson, but apparently um, 
it was it was interviewed by um a female reporter who was asking former president of, I think it was Lyndon B. Johnson, um, about why did they get involved in Vietnam and apparently he wh- he whipped out his penis and said I think it was Lyndon B. Johnson because he did he whipped out his um penis called Mr Jumbo and he said that's why and then put it back and zipped up and carried on. I could be wrong but to a point that many today might refer to it as assault and mm. physically reject his advances. While he may be a Democrat hero to some today, they likely never knew or have completely forgotten just what a sexually harassing, inappropriate pervert the man was, Probably or they would not be holding him in such high regard. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. And don't forget to subscribe. We've got brand new videos just Already like subscribed. this every day of the week. Also over there on the right, some other videos that you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And as always, thank you wow. for watching. Wow. That, that'll do it. Wow, that was... I think just about most of the names on there threw me off. Like... Never thought I would hear the parts like where perverts have changed the world for the better. That's just uh, wow. I just I'm just struggling for words. So so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this reaction video. If you like this reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see.